Today I am going to focus on fundamental unit and derived unit which comes under the chapter measurement. Uh, what is exactly fundamental unit? We can say that units which are independent, fundamental unit, what is it? Fundamental units means the units which are independent. Units which are independent of any other unit, but other units can be derived from them are known as fundamental units. For example, we can say unit of length, mass, time, that is meter. Just for example, uh, I'm writing shortly, meter, symbol meter, uh, M-E-T-E-R in, in place of writing long, meter, kilometer, in the same way, second, in the same way, hour, they are, or we can say gram, they are not dependent on, on order. They are fundamental units. Okay, this is about the fundamental unit, but sometimes question may be a little different. Uh, okay, why this meter is called fundamental unit? Question may be like this, why meter, meter is called fundamental unit? Called fundamental unit. If question comes like this, we can deal like this. The unit meter is independent unit. It can neither be changed nor be related to any other units. Neither be changed or nor be related. It can neither be changed nor be related to any other units. Since an independent unit that cannot be derived from other units uh, and cannot be changed or related to other unit is called fundamental units. Therefore, meter is a fundamental unit. We can say it like this. This way, what is fundamental unit? We have to remember this keyword. This is independent unit. Okay. Now, let's talk about derived unit. D-E-R-I-V-E-D. -E derived unit. What is it exactly? Now we can say this way, units which are made by using fundamental unit. This, remember this, made by using fundamental units. Units which are made by using fundamental units or which cannot be expressed in terms of uh, which can be expressed, sorry, which can be expressed only in terms of fundamental units are known as derived unit. For example, just for example, we can say velocity. For example, we can say velocity, acceleration, shortly I'm writing this way, velocity, acceleration, force, etc. They are derived unit. They are dependent on other. But the question may be sometimes different. Just now, uh, what I told about this uh, fundamental unit in the same way, volume. Volume is a derived unit. I mean to say unit of volume. Unit of volume is derived unit. Why? The question is, unit of volume, do you know that volume is equal to, this is the question, volume equal to length into breadth into height. Now, we can say that uh, unit of volume is what? Unit of volume, SI unit of volume is meter cube. Isn't it? Length meter measured in meter, breadth measured in meter, and height is also measured in meter. That's why unit of volume, SI unit is meter cube which utilizes the fundamental unit meter thrice since a unit that is made by using fundamental unit is called derived unit therefore the unit of volume is called derived unit 
This way we can express. In the same way, question may be something more, not only why, why only volume, other may be just like uh, pressure. Pressure. Pressure is also derived unit. How pressure is derived unit? Just like pressure equal to all of we know that force by area. And if uh, uh, we write the unit, then what happens? Pressure is measured in Pascal, force is measured in Newton, and area is measured in meter square. And if we if we write the expanded form of this Newton per meter square, uh, which is Pascal, unit of pressure is Pascal. We are talking about the unit of pressure is derived unit. Now. Newton is expanded form is kg meter per second square. Uh, upper there is meter square in denominator and meter and meter square cancel. Now what remains remaining is kg uh, and second square and meter is in denominator. That's why uh, second to the power minus two we can write inverse meter we can write. It means what what is the result after showing all these? If you are told to write why unit of pressure is derived unit then you can show this and after showing this thus the fundamental units kilogram seconds and meter makes the unit pascal since a unit expressed in terms of fundamental unit is called derived unit so unit of pressure is a derived unit this way we can differentiate unit of uh, uh, fundamental unit and uh, derived unit. Uh -huh. Now let's talk about uh, fundamental unit according to SI system. There are seven fundamental units according to SI system. Now I'm going to uh, write those all. We have to remember all these in future also in different numerical they comes. Now first physical quantity PSYSICA physical quantity physical quantity and next unit I'm writing physical quantity which physical quantity is measured in which unit and what is the symbol symbol for that particular physical quantity now I'm talking about SI units there are seven fundamental units according to SI system the first one is so physical quantity is length and its unit is what meter length is measured in meter and a symbol is taken as small m and second mass mass is measured in kilogram and its symbol is kg and then time third Time is another physical quantity which measure its, its unit is second and its symbol is small s. Now temperature temperature is measured in Kelvin. And, uh, its uh, symbol is K, its capital K. If a unit is named after a scientist, then a symbol is capital letter. Since the temperature is named after the scientist scale Calvin, that's why symbol is capital K. Now current. Current is and uh, unit is ampere, and it is uh, this is the name of scientist. That's why capital A is a symbol. Now luminous intensity. luminous intensity its unit is candela and its symbol is cd and last one amount of substance amount of substance Amount of substance is measured in mole and its symbol is MOL. What I wrote just now, these are 
the seven fundamental uh, seven uh, fundamental units according to SI system according to SI system we have to remember SI system which is used all over the world and we are going to use this in each and every chapter of science that's why we have to remember this and this is very important okay this was for today we'll continue on the class